back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, do emulation, games, reviews, anything that can be tested out, tried out, moved around, things like that. So, new to the channel, if you see anything or have anything that you might want to see on the channel, put it in the comment section. I appreciate all the views and support, even though for this channel being low, you know, I still appreciate every view, every viewer, every comment, and I try to get back to you as best as I can. Um, and this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Steam update. So we're gonna go ahead and put Steam on here. I did, I wanted to hold off on Steam because I want to try to do the Steam UI deck, you know, the Steam deck operating system on here since they put it out full windows now so you can kind of use it. Um, so we're gonna go do that. I did find the PlayStation remote on the page. So I quickly go through that right quick. Uh, for that, you had to go uh, type in PS Remote, Remote Play, go to the PlayStation website. From there, where we went earlier in the other video, you go down. Oh, shit, wrong, wrong. I can't go to see behind the phone. Uh, you click on the last button, then you click on which system you want to do it on. Also, the PS4. Comes to PS5 because I'm PS5. Scroll down, they're gonna ask you to agree and hit download. So that's how you do it. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and put the Steam. I have them putting everything on here uh, for you to play the remote play games for PS4. On your PS5, you're gonna need the DualShock 4 emulator for you to run like an emulator. You use the SWICD as an Xbox controller, convert the Xbox controller to DS4 emulator to play remote play games on PS4. PS PlayStation Plus, you shouldn't have to do that. If I'm not mistaken, from the Win 600, it should be about the same, but I'll test that in a separate video. All right, so for right now, let's get to downloads. Let's run this Steam out. Go ahead and run Steam. It's on Steam on here. It's on English. Install it to that. And we're gonna run Steam. So now it's got to do is download updates and all that. It's not a hard process, it's a pretty easy process. Uh, you know, I just didn't want to do it without showing how to get it towards that mode. I did it on my other laptop, but with that laptop being so slow and running so slow, I don't want to ever run Steam on that system. Another reason why sooner or later I plan on getting the... Uh, one of the mini PCs that you can get online. I'll try to get one of those, review that as well. Uh, and go from there. I'll try to get some more electronics on this channel. Right now, I just gotta save the money up. You know, try to get the stuff. I mean, it, it didn't take long to get the Steam Deck from the Aminate. It took about, what, a month, month and a half to get the Aminate. Uh, one six hundred to the Steam Deck. So, it didn't take as long, but it's just a point. You gotta do a lot of, a lot of work. All right, now we load it back in after we got all the passwords stuff situation. Now what you do is you come to settings, change your beta participation, and you want to opt in to the Steam beta. Hit OK. You got to restart Steam. Steam is going to restart. It shouldn't take as long because it's just going to download the beta update. all the packages and everything downloaded then you'll go back in and close out the windows and what you'll have to do after that I'll show you in a quick second so get one second to download the install it takes a few seconds it don't take as long but it takes a few seconds so I'll just go ahead and pause until then all right we're back now it's got the beta should be, I always like to double check to make sure everything good, so I'm gonna go back to my settings, and it says I'm in the Steam Beta update. So we close out that, exit out that again. Steam is right there, but it should be fine. All right, so we're gonna go to properties, and in the properties we're gonna take out, but we're not gonna take anything out. We're just gonna space it. Uh, dash. If I can find the dash button on this control, 
Gamepad UI. Oh, not capitalized though. You have, and then you're gonna click apply. It's gonna say you need to provide administration. We're gonna say yes. We're gonna go ahead. I should hit apply. Should be good to go. And you say yes. All right now we go back into Steam. Oh, we like how the cabinet closes out. I don't like this. Set. Exit. And now it should pull up as the game pay you. Load it up one more time. Give it a second. All right, now you see the Steam interface is loading up. It's loading the Steam UI up, just like a Steam Deck. It's like being on the Steam Deck all over again, but you are on the Steam Deck, but on Windows. Now, everything should run like it was, just like I was on Steam Deck. Nothing different. The only thing you won't get is the same is that you're not gonna be able to um you know you're not gonna be able to uh use the boot logo but everything works the steam home button works it still pulls up the xbox controller but that's why you got to put the lizard mode and stuff all that on the um the other controller and also you need to shut down make sure if you do place like steam if you do want to run to steam my ex is steam right quick shut down now when you want to run steam make sure this is cut off the SWI CD make sure you end it exit it cut it off because steam itself does not need that controller because steam controllers work to the steam game it recognizes the steam controllers without anything because I mean it's a steam deck so I mean it's already triggering that but when anytime that you want to play anything like the PS play and all that stuff then yes you'll need that running but any other time that you don't want to leave that running, cut that off, exit out, look back in here, yep, it's gone. Now you can run back into Steam. And when you hit the Steam button, it shouldn't pull up the Xbox logo or none of that, so it's gonna just run Steam UI because it recognizes the Steam controllers. Here's his own minor boot logo. No issues, no double inputs, none of that. Why it does that box, I don't know. There you go. All my games, all the same stuff that was in there. All of them. Now, I'm gonna go to settings because I need to still put the uh, SD card in now. I hate that account. I hate that this is on the table, so it's gonna it's gonna blur up a little bit because I'm using the table. And so now it shows that my 430 gigabyte, you know, for the Windows side. worry about it everything is good to go and there you go so if you have any questions or anything feel free to ask in the comment section um, the SD card part is gonna try it's gonna say it to this I want to try to get it to say on this uh, the SIM card but I will have to format the format the SIM card or if I don't format the SIM card I could, well, I can format it, turn it to NTFS, make it as a uh, letter towards the drive on the system, and then it probably will recognize it that way. It's an easier way of doing it on the, uh, if you just did it in the regular Steam OS, but for now, I'm gonna have to figure out exactly how to add it on this section. But that's it, that's how you do Steam OS. The new gamepad. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, subscribe. You know what to do. Until the next video, peace.